G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I don't have much time today, so I'm just going to make a quick little video. This is actually something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Oh no. A fish has jumped into that tank. That is not meant to be in there. But that kind of relates to the video that we're doing today. So if anybody, if, you, if any of you remember, I actually crossed um, Texas cichlid with my flower horn. So I actually want to try and vent out a Texas cichlid cross flower horn female to breed back through my flower horns. Now, if you guys remember, when I bred these fish, I said I will never sell any of these. So I'm keeping to that word. Please don't ask me to buy one of these because they will not be for sale. Um, when I bred them, I only kept like 10 and I don't even think there's 10 left. There's maybe like five or six left. And <clears throat> I have zero intention on selling any of these. I'm sorry, guys. I think putting an F1 ho hybrid into the hobby is a bad move. So I just, I I'll pretty much use these to breed. Um, and if I'm happy with the outcome, I'll probably just cull them off. Um, as harsh as the ra that sounds, I think it's the responsible thing to do. Anyway, let's catch a couple of these. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see, but she's skitzing out. <laughs> um, I thought it was going to be easy to catch and then all of a sudden it took off. Anyway, let's have a look at it. Alright, so I know I'm going to get some negativity about this hybrid on the channel, but actually I don't think we can use this one. I think it's a girl. But it's got red eye. So that's a no deal. We need a white eye. Alright guys, so I caught three. Let's talk about the pros and cons on all of them. Alright, so this is the biggest one. Um, they're all beaky. Where's the camera? They're all beaky, so I'm going to kind of disregard that. We're going to chase less beakiness in F2. Um, I'm not really sure if it's male or female. I'm pretty sure it's a male going by the fins. But um, it's got very limited scripting. Um, it's got the white eye, which we're chasing. It's got great face pearls, but... I'm not too worried about pearls in this situation because the, the flower horn that I'm going to cross them with has plenty of pearls. So this one looks more like a boy. I've got to decide whether I want to do a boy over a girl or a girl over a boy. I th I'm pretty sure I want to do girl over a boy. Um, just because it's quicker, a, a girl's going to mature faster than a boy but it will mean that and th this one here I just think's straight out too small to even check out the vent if anything I would say male um, I don't really I haven't, oh, sorry it's zoomed in on the wrong hand that one's got the least script out of them all I'm definitely leaning towards one of the bigger two but I honestly think they're all boys. This one's got the least beak, the best body shape. That's definitely a boy. It's got like the triangle bit. I think that that's a girl. I'm gonna use this one. That's the girl out of the bunch. Um, 
So full face pearls I'm really happy with, but obviously we're not chasing full face pearls. One interesting thing, the white eye, when you take them out of the water, the, the eye goes brown. I should cut, catch a couple of the V-house cichlids and see if the same thing happens. Um, it does have me worried. If you look, there's some like black scripting marks up through the top there. Um, that's a pretty good sign that it's a girl as well, I believe. I'm not 100%, but I think I'm going to use this one. Put it back in the water for a sec. All right, let's go put her in the tank. All right, you ready, guys? So she's just going in this end bay here. Um, the other girl that was in here, I moved her across to the three foot. Um, that one's actually showing some red through its um, gills as well, so that's the flower horn coming through. How funny would it be if I started like a line of red Texas hybrids through these? It's definitely not my goal, but it's not unachievable. I noticed um, a couple of them have black through their fins, so I think a couple of them might even have the fader gene. So we might get some like fader flower horn cross Texas up in that tank. I'm just going to leave them in there to grow out. Alright, so we're just going to catch these two. They're going to go back up in here. <clears throat> um, so if anybody doesn't know what's in this tank, there's um, Vihar Sin Spillum, um, Vihar Coats something, there's um, Flower Horns, what are the flower horns? Oh, the flower horns are uh, red magma cross vampire. Um, there's one red terror, which I'm pretty sure is a male. I'm not really sure how to tell young red terrors, but I'm guessing that's male. I'm 70% sure. Obviously, like when they get a lot bigger, they you can differentiate them very easily. But look, he's got like the trailing fins and all that. I think it's definitely a male. Um, there's a couple of, like the Texas Cross, there's a couple of really small ones. I've kind of contemplated taking them out and growing them out separate to pump them, but I just don't have the room to do it. I've also got, ignore the mess guys. These guys for some reason are making a huge mess. I've got two red terrors here. So if you notice that one doesn't have the black dot, whereas the bigger one does, so I'm hoping they're opposite sex. I really want to breed some pure line Americans. I've never really done it much. The only things I've bred is like Jaguar cichlids. So my plan with the Viha is hopefully try and breed them into the flower horns, but at the same time I want to breed some pure line um, V hard to keep to sell so at the same time as making a hybrid for myself to breed I'm creating pure lines to put out there into the public to keep the lines true but anyway we'll see how that goes anyway guys I'm gonna wrap that video up there I hope that I hope you kind of like understand a bit of the selection process obviously slightly different to flower horns if they were pure flower horns, I'd probably cull all three just because of the head shape, the beakiness. A flower horn wouldn't get through my out my door with that beak on there. Um, so F2, my main goal is white eye and I'll be trying to get rid of that beak. Um, I kind of want to show you guys the journey of this um, Texas cross to kind of deter people to try and hybridize fish. Um, I feel like if I show you how long it takes, how many generations, like this breeding project is probably a three year project before I sell any. So by, I, I've said this a hundred times, by doing that and showing you guys how much work it actually is, I kind of want to deter the people that do the F1 and then get sick of waiting and then they just flog off the F1s and don't actually continue with the breeding project. Well, I thought something was overflowing then. 
But anyway, I sound like a broken record saying that. I know, I'm sorry guys, but one of the things I promised myself when taking on the project of breeding flower horns and crossing fish was raising the awareness. And if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't have heard me say that before. So yeah, don't try and tackle it if you don't have a spare three years up your sleeve. <clears throat> one thing that keeps me going is I've got enough fish to keep me busy to take my mind off it. Like I can throw fry in a tank and forget about them for six months, which is exactly what I've done with those Texas cross. Like I have paid no attention to them besides feeding them for the past six months. And now it's only six months later, maybe even longer, maybe even seven, eight months. Now I'm looking at selecting one. Like if I only had them, maybe like four tanks in my, in my living room, can you understand how like I would get impatient and sick of waiting um, that's just what I'm trying to pus put like put across in this message but if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up if you want to keep track of this progress hit the subscribe button and also if you want to help me out hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out